All right, epa, opa, eureka. Well, maybe not. But here's what here's what's going. Here's what how here's how it played out. Okay, so tire came off. Check. Looked at bricks and they were all cruddy and stuff and scary and stuff. Check. Um, so I went in there with the wire brush. I'm gonna do a little bit more wire brushing. But it looks like now my uncle didn't lie to me. That that looks. You can still see the the that CAD plating or whatever that is, corrosion barrier stuff on there from last year. I went in there with this doodadder, which is known as a flashlight. It's not a very good one, but better than nothing. Better than nothing. And I got my my silicone easy slide, easy slide. There you go. Got that. And I used my trusty dusty screwdriver here. And what I did is I got the silicone the best I could on where the brake pads meet that metal clip. As you can see on the side, oh, my wrist doesn't move that way. So hopefully you got it. And then that clip there, I put some on that one, put some on that one, and then the studs, I put some on there. I, I moved this one back just to show you. I don't have, I can't do it with the... Imagine human beings only having two arms. You need three to do this stuff. But anyway, just to show you, just to, so you can see the stud. I'll get my trusty dusty screwdriver. I uh, got my trusty dusty screwdriver, pushed that back as much as I could without damaging the grommet, and basically put uh, some silicone on that. So that looks good. Now, when you're putting it back, just make sure you get it so that you don't tear the grommet or whatever rubber boot, whatever you want to call it. But make sure you get it lit on the lip so that nothing gets in there. So I gave this a gentle tap with Thor here on the studs, not hard, just enough to, you know, if it was seized at all, it would break it loose a little bit. Just tapped around it. Now, all I gotta do is, uh, yeah, so I think that one, yeah, I'd like to replace this, these lines at some point, at a later date when I have more money. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like under the truck, if you're wondering. So the other side's done. The nice thing is that this is done, so you just get your screwdriver in on there, but don't put a lot on there, just a little enough that it slides. And then uh, what I did do, what I did do before I did all that is I, again, guys, if you don't have brake cleaner, doesn't matter what brand, I don't care what brand, get yourself brake cleaner because that's how I found out that this bracket is actually fairly new. So these brakes are like less than a year old. What that's telling me is I'm not going to bother putting on the other rotors. The rotor needs to be replaced at some point, but... I'll live with it for now, but all this cruddy stuff, which I started with the, I had some steel wool, I have a wire brush, but you can't get in there and you can't get on the other side very easy because that, that backing plate, but you can do stuff like this, you know, like just kind of get all that off. I should have done that. And just take all that crustiness off. Right, the best you can. Right now I can't quite roll that, so I guess uh, maybe the brake was applied at some point and uh, <laughs> uh, when I parked it, so. Uh, whatever, but I'm going to get all this moving good anyway. And then my final step will be just to watch what this stuff does. Like, uh, just I'm not going to spray it on there because I already did. And you get your brake pads and everything, and then what you do, like that, and if you got a rag, wipe it down. Stuff will evaporate. So, speaking of rags, I may have one in the back of the truck. I should have brought it here before I did that. If you did that once every six months, your brakes would probably see it's almost dry there now. But you can take all this stuff off like that. So there, that, that looks better. That looks a lot better. So um, now what I'm gonna do is just get the corrosion stuff on there. I don't think he replaced the rotor. I think he just replaced the the brake caliper. So or j maybe even just the bracket. Uh, that doesn't look as bad as I thought it was. Like once I got took the wire brush to it, it's not too bad. But it's serviceable. So. That's all I care about. And if you could service it, you still have to take the tire off, but if you could service it without having to pull everything apart, that's good. Wheel bearings seem to be <coughs> pretty good. I don't hear any squeaking or anything like that. I do, hear, however, hear a woodpecker. But anyway, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to go at this with the oil spray stuff. I'll show you that. And then uh, I'll start putting stuff back together. I'll put some anti-seize on these studs. And then uh, start bleeding the brakes. Yay! I may have this thing on the road tonight or tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow afternoon, I guess. There we go.